Hope you're having a really awesome day. Datsa here, and today I'll be talking about the destruction of Almosts, how it brought me to my lowest point in my art career, and also the personal cure that worked for me. So this episode will actually be a story time, where I'll talk about a small period in time where I finished every single piece I worked on, and also a following period of time, albeit much longer, where I never finished a single piece. Now I like to call this first period the Goldilocks era, where I finished every single piece I worked on, and even set my own deadlines on it, to where I would get one done every, let's say, two weeks. This is when I first began painting, I was having a good time, I was experimenting, I was growing, and most importantly, I was finishing what I started. Now here's where stuff actually gets tricky. This ended very abruptly this era, to start a whole different one, which I like to call the era of no end. And this actually happened while I was streaming. I used to live stream, and for a good two and a half years, I was live streaming to a large audience, and I put myself in the position where I didn't finish a single piece, because of a couple big reasons. For one, they already saw the whole piece in its entirety, the whole way through, so it gave me a little incentive to come up with a finished product, right? Another thing is, it's kind of boring, to add details, or at least to paint details in front of people, so I kind of just started painting after painting to show people the beginning and middle processes. This happened, as I said, for a whole two and a half years, and more than this, the streams delete themselves after two months. So not only was I left without a portfolio, I was also left without any other video showcasing what I had produced. So here I was two years later where I didn't have a single creative thing to show anybody. And this is a very bad spot to be in because regardless of how creative you are, regardless of what skills you have, it doesn't matter because you have nothing to show for it. More than this, after I stopped streaming, I didn't upload a single piece to the internet for around a whole other year. And this is why Almost getting done with a lot of pieces rather than completing any of them is a very destructive process because you have nothing to show for almost pieces. Since then, I've learned that the world isn't really built on almosts. You don't almost become president, you don't almost win a gold medal, you don't almost graduate, and even if you get to that almost point, it doesn't matter unless you get it finished. Now to actually get back on track to getting pieces done, there was one big philosophy that I adopted that really helps me out and made me be able to make a finished piece every single week. And it was as simple as deadlines. And of course, we have a lot of deadlines. We have school deadlines, we have work deadlines, we have all of these different deadlines. However, applying a deadline to your own creative process is very important and very integral to your life. For me, it was making a painting simply at the end of the week, or at least by the end of the week. And shortly after, I was able to consensitize it and bring that down to once every five days, once every three days, and now it's at once at the end of the day, once a week. And that's a very important feature to have in your life. Deadlines put you in the position where you don't have all the time in the world to finish a piece, and it makes you think on how to cut corners, how to make better decisions when it comes to time, and how to get something done within a time frame. And that's why it's such a powerful feature to adopt in your life. I can't emphasize this enough. Set a deadline and get to it. Because if you're put in the position where you're almost finishing something, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that it's either done or not done. Very black and white in that regard. And if you don't fix it soon, you might end up in the same position I was at where I didn't have a single portfolio piece to show for years of work. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you'll come to find that I always tell you the time at the end of how long each painting took, and there's a big reason behind that. And the reason is deadlines. I need to get it done, and I need to get it done now. The painting in the background you see right now actually took 3 hours and 20 minutes, and my deadline for it was actually 3 hours, so I didn't quite meet it, but I did get kind of close, and I am kind of happy of the results. I really wanted this spaceship to actually be really fun, colorful, and inviting, so I made sure it was nice and curvy, because the general rule of thumb is, the rounder something is, the cuter something is, and if you want to make something frightening and scary, just add a lot of spikes to it, a lot of sharp edges, as they would say. As for color, I wanted some nice contrast with some yellow and dark blue, and putting that along with kind of a curvy spaceship, I think made it look kind of fun. Maybe not so inviting but still kind of fun, I'd say. Anyways, next week's video is actually gonna be on something that I don't think it's talked about enough, which is a very powerful tool to add to your arsenal if you use it well. So stay tuned for that. 
I would really like to hear your thoughts and comments on deadlines and your thoughts and comments on almost getting finished with something. Maybe a personal experience, maybe a little hack that's worked for you on getting something done. Please let me know on the comments down below. I appreciate you watching today's video, especially to the very end, and I'll talk to you soon. And remember that nothing great happens inside of your comfort zone.